Hey guys and welcome. Welcome back to Mafia 3. I know I said that I was probably going to take a little bit of a break from the DLC, but you know. Today we're going to be checking out the Faster Baby DLC. I've heard some pretty good things about it, considering that the last DLC we just finished was literally amazing. I, I, have, uh, I have good hopes for this one, okay? Now... I am going to be getting in my sweet new ride. I think this is a new car. I, I think this is the car we got rewarded on the last episode. And the reason I say that is because I've never driven this car before. In it, and I think it is. It just doesn't have the decals. But just listen to it. Ooh. Oh, when it changes gears. Ooh, and it goes really fast. I think this might be the fastest car that I've used. Or at least the top speed. I don't know about the acceleration, but the top speed. Anyhow, here we go, baby. Let's do this. I'm excited, man. I really am. Oh, oh it's look what it is. Sure, see him. Oh, God damn it. Okay. Get your ass home in one piece, MJ. You all right? Far fucking from it. Sinclair Paris. That mean anything to you? Nothing good. For black folks, anyway. Sheriff Department down there still thinks Jim Crow is a law of the land, so we're building a civil rights case against him. Been working with an attorney out of Washington, D.C., knows people in the FBI. That what that call was about? One of my men, named Ezekiel Dandridge, was down there meeting with folks, getting him to agree to testify against the sheriff's department. He was compiling evidence, uh, testimony, getting folks' names. We are gonna turn it over to that attorney. <sighs> then he ran into a motherfucker named Sheriff Walter Slim Beaumont. I was on the phone with him when it happened. I'm getting ready to leave now. I know. Yeah. Okay. Kinda laid out, ain't it? Are you having car trouble? No, sir. Everything's fine. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Why don't you come on out here and let me get a look at you? What you doing around Sinclair this time of night? Wow. Passing through, sir. Passing through. That's nice. It's a beautiful night for passing through, ain't it? Well, that's some racist that phone? ass shit, man. My mama. Your mama. She worries. Just letting her know when they're speckling. That's mighty nice. I bet she appreciates that. Yes, sir. It is a beautiful night. <laughs> Don't let me keep it. Especially what with your mama waiting and all. Wow. Evidence against them. Jesus. What a piece of shit. And another brother falls. Oh, fuck. Lincoln. Cleopatra. This is my daughter, Roxy. Damn. She grew up in Atlanta. You didn't tell me you had a mother. daughter looking like that. Pleasure to meet you. Just kidding, guys. Get I'm Lincoln. Lincoln Clay. I know. Daddy, I already told you I can handle this on my own. There's too much at stake case people's lives can't take any chances heard you ripped dixie mafia a new asshole <laughs> left one of them hanging from a ferris wheel he killed someone close to me seemed like a good way to pay him back 
Slim and them motherfuckers who work for him. Dixie Mafia ain't nothing compared to them. We do this, you do what I say, when I say it. Yes, ma'am. Uh, the two of you need to get on down to Sinclair Parish and get that folder. When you got it, bring it here. <laughs> well, Meet me outside when you're ready to go. Lincoln is a big dude. Your ass is dry. <laughs> it looks puny, man. She was supposed to be with ZQ. Blames herself for what happened. Blame is an easy thing to put on. Hell of a lot harder to take off. We'll get this done. Of that, I have no doubt. <laughs> you better not down me, punk. I'm just kidding. That's Lee right there, man. We gotta respect Lee. It's the Sinclair man. Parish? <laughs> yeah, I, I remember Sinclair Parish. <laughs> You, you need to understand that back then, uh, local police, sheriff departments, they operated with absolute impunity. And no one operated with more impunity than Sheriff Walter Beaumont. Beaumont used his power to keep Sinclair Parish white. Places like that were called sundown counties. If you were black and caught around there after dark, well... That would be the last time anyone ever saw you. Damn, dude, that's wild. Holy shit. Kind of crazy. All right, St. Clair. All right, let's get it. She reminds me of Foxy from... I'm not going to run down on how you two fucked up those dicks, you assholes. What you did to do Seth, that was gone cold. Did what had to be done. Yeah, I'm sure you did. But listen... If one of these Sinclair deputies ever tried to pull you over, don't stop. They'll kill you and me without a fight. New Bordeaux police don't exactly walk around giving black folks hugs. Now, nah, ain't no disrespect, my brother. But take out Slim like you did Richie Doucet, and in their minds, that's just gonna justify everything they be doing. That's gonna make shit even worse. But you, you ready to just go out and kill them all, huh? No, just the ones that matter. She obviously has no idea what we've done. We've taken out not only the Dixie Mafia, but we've taken out all of them. Sal Marcano included, baby. I'm the boss of this fucking town. Obviously, this DLC takes place slightly before. Um, or actually, maybe a lot before the end of the game. But I'm just saying. You need me to drive. Oh, sorry. I didn't know there was going to be a damn fucking truck with a bunch of logs coming in front of me. I mean, Jesus. Anyways, she, she reminded me of Foxy from Austin Powers. I don't know if you remember. Beyonce played her. That's why I said Foxy, Cleopatra. I think it was Cleopatra. I don't remember. Anyways, I'm talking out of my ass. I'm sorry. Move, man. Move, shit. Let me try. She's mad at me. Oh, shit. All right. This is my type of girl. Let's get it. Bonnie and Clyde, baby! Oh, I got this fucking... Oh, my God! Oh, she wanted to keep a low profile. Yeah, well, we on our ass now, so a low profile don't come and go. Now get us the fuck out of here. Uh -huh. Yes, ma'am. How am I supposed to shoot those things with a fucking dart gun? I literally have a dart gun. Woo! <laughs> Let's go! Oh, nice. Okay. I don't know why. I just learned about that explosive that you can throw out the window now after completing the game. So I want some MJ. Right, Foxy. I've dealt with asshole cops before, but god damn. They rather ice your black ass as soon as look at you. Now I get what you've been saying. Those motherfuckers are a whole new brand of intense. And keep your eyes open for more pigs as we hear through time. Hopefully there's a lot of that uh, cop chase stuff in this DLC. I mean, based off the name, I would assume there is. That's pretty cool. Obviously, I'd like What's to have a better man? car for that. Sinclair born and raised. He a white boy looking to make a difference. You trust him? Of course I trust him. Although I think he got more balls than sense. Sounds like my kind of people. Is it up here? Yeah. Yeah. 
Roxy, Roxy. I ain't seen you in a good minute, girl. MJ's waiting for y'all in the greenhouse. Now you say hey to Lula and them babies for me. Another brother falls. Okay. Going this way. Meet MJ. Man, this world is pretty big. I've never been in this part. They need a place to lay low. Send them my way. Oh, Look after yourself. We got that bud. Ain't you two a shot to behold? <laughs> yeah, we just a regular old beauty and the beast. Lincoln here is beauty. Name's Mish, but most folks call me MJ. How's the drive in? I've got a warm welcome from the Sinclair Sheriff's Department. Goddamn assholes. Since the uh, thing was EQ, Slim's had them high alert. And when'd you get back? A few months ago. This is my ticket home. Lost part of my stomach was about a year ago. Shrapnel? Hugh got hit by an RPG. And next thing I know, I'm on the ground with part of the tail rotor sticking out of me. Wow. This helps with the pain. <coughs> God damn. Some of my best work. That cop friend of yours got us a line on our missing folder. Mickey? Yeah. Tommy Slim's got it locked up down at the station. Don't suppose there's an easy way in and out of there? No, not unless you're invisible. Hmm. Them motherfuckers don't leave much chance. <laughs> so I should probably wait until it's dark. Try to get in when most of those assholes have gone home for the day. That's what I was thinking. Slim's a slippery bastard. Unpredictable. So I'm gonna tag along and help keep an eye on things. I'm gonna be waiting for you outside. Appreciate it. He's wild, bro. And MJ. You might want to get in touch with that cop friend of yours. Tell him to call in sick. Oh, that motherfucker's long gone. Ten double zero. Get it. Okay, so before we do anything, I want to call. I'll head your way now. I want to call my people real quick. I feel like I need to um I need to change the dart gun because I want to go shoot the cops out the window and I was shooting them with a dart gun. That's not really gonna do anything for me, if you know what I mean. So. There we go. And then maybe some adrenaline shots. This is done. Right. You know how to fight. What do we this have? Safe. And we go straight to the bank. I'll get them files back before Slim thinks about moving. Can I please get a better car? Watch out. Lady, get out the way. You drive like crap. So do I, but hey. I'm the protagonist here, okay? I have an excuse. The sheriff's station usually is killing through this time of night. Surprised you didn't go in and snatch the files yourself. I thought about it, but I suppose you deserve to have a little fun. Hey, you generous. I'm afraid. I'll be keeping a bird's eye view on things from nearby. Give you a heads up any way I can. Oh, she hasn't seen me in action, Jessie. Wait, wait till she sees me in action. She's gonna fall in love. She takes a Good look at me taking out all these guys. She's gonna be like, damn, baby. Right. Faster. There's me up here. Faster, baby. I'm sorry. I don't know what's wrong with me today, man. I'm I'll grab I gotta files. relax. Wish we meet. I can make my way back to the phone. And Lincoln, keep your head down, all right? Since the day I was born. Okay, so infiltrate the sheriff's department. That car? You been in it? I thought so. Before your shift's done, I want you to take a rag and wipe it down. Any place you might have touched, and anywhere else for that matter. You're a whole lot less trouble. Perfect. Okay. Here we go. You can leave. <laughs> Look at his face. What is wrong with him? He looks so weird. What's wrong with you, man? 
Or we gotta go upstairs probably, right? Oh, this is where they stand you up to take the picture of you. How about up here? Hey, hey, gorilla. Gorilla. Get the fuck you going, snowflake? You calling a snowflake, bitch? Trim keep his deputies in line. No drinking on duty, no dope. Yeah, it's got to be upstairs, right? The guy up there. Slim offices at the front of the building on the second floor. The files ought to be inside. Nope, not going to do that. Oh my god, they dropped dead. Good. Alright. Another one bites the dust. And he froze. Killed him so badly, he froze in time. The other guys are downstairs. But you should be good here. Let me check out this note. There's a note here. Every time we pass by each other, I can hardly stand it. Your scent, your eyes, the way you make me feel gets me through those long, lonely nights with her. But sure, you've got... Bro, wasn't this a note that we saw in the story? You've got to stop slipping me these notes. If they ever find out about us, I cannot imagine what they do. Hmm. All right, here we got the files. Got the files back. Roxy, I got it. Well, goddamn. Don't act too surprised. Oh, I ain't. But this shit ain't over till you get your ass back to the farmhouse. Off the ground! Off the I fucking ground! That's the plan. Meet you there. You don't know who I am, apparently. He doesn't got the slightest idea. <laughs> You're doing business with Lincoln Clay. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. I wish I could just jump out the window from the top floor as opposed to having to go all the way back down. Or was it that way? No, it's this way. <laughs> Shut your ass up! What? Silence. Okay, I think we're good here. Put away the gun. All right, where, where is she at? Okay, I think we came from the other side, right? I don't remember where she parked. I think it was this way. Escape with the folder. I already escaped. What do you mean? I've escaped. What are you talking about? I'm pretty sure we were parked over here. There we go. Return to MJ's. Being here at the station, still assessing what's missing. Uh, Y'all keep this off the radios, you hear? I was wondering when you was gonna show up. You doubt this boy from the hollow? <laughs> Let's just say I'm still surprised you ain't fuck it up. Give me time. I'm sure I'll find a way. Slim made some notes inside. Highlighted a few names. Them already gone to work. Some of these people done gone missing. Oh, wow. Which means they're probably dead. Potential witnesses gone. He knows the names of the people we've been talking to. God damn it. We've been working at this for almost a year, putting everything together piece by piece for it to all fall apart now. Ain't nothing falling apart. We always knew the motherfuckers hit back. <laughs> these folks gave their life thinking we was going to see this through. Well, her voice we acting is crazy. Pictures. The written testimony. We ain't gonna let Slim worm his way out of this. So, what's our next move? I'm gonna call the folks on this list and tell them to get the fuck out of St. Clair. 
After that, we gonna see about Slim and his asshole <laughs> friends. Her voice acting is so freaking amazing. <laughs> Got a chip on her shoulder, dude. You don't fuck around. No problem. Let's get it, bro. Help MJ. Hey, where are we headed? Oh, interesting. It's got a lot like of it. weed here, dude. Any old asshole can grow some skunk weed in their backyard. It takes an artist to get in there, stop mixing strains and shit. Gotta respect a man with a passion. Been growing long? Since I got back. Damn. New shade of green. VA shrink said I was suffering from intrusive thoughts. Couldn't get down with the meds he gave me. So I started growing. Shared my first crop with some friends. And word travels fast. Good weed does that. Cops? Yeah, cops are so focused on keeping St. Clair white. They haven't noticed the new shade of green popping up. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. Plus, I kind of got a referral system. So I don't have to worry about any old asshole talking to the cops. You can just dump that right there. Don't mind the mess. So you got a pipeline into New Bordeaux? Nah. You know someone who might be interested? I might. We'll talk more once things settle down around here. Thank you for the help. Wanna take a hit? <laughs> you shouldn't have. <laughs> it's a cigar, okay? Fuck. A cigarette. You put your foot in this, boy. Goddamn right. Well, let me see if Roxy needs help digging through the files. That could take a minute. Enjoy that. We should talk business later. Oh, I will. Enjoy that. They know drugs. Ah, oh, this looks like Red Dead right here. Ah, oh, this is sick. All right, so. Kicking up dust. Man, all the missions are around here, huh? In the little barn. Okay. Hope you packed the coat, man, because there's a goddamn ship blizzard headed our way. Got in touch with everybody in there except three people. Andy Lafayette, Gina Paulson, Eddie Hanahan. Slim cornered them, cut them off. Only a matter of time before he moved in. And that's just the start of it. Whole parish is locked down. No one gets in or out without Slim say so. Like I said, it's a ship blizzard. The fuck we gonna do? Those three, you know where they at? Yeah, we got somebody watching them. If you charge in guns blazing, it's just gonna get them killed. But if Roxy and I pick up a ride, bust around Sinclair kicking up dust. Motherfuckers ain't gonna be able to resist a chance to hook a couple niggas on the run. Exactly. And while all eyes are on us, MJ steals around town, grabs those three, and brings them back here. You think you can handle that? Fuck yeah, I can. Got something else that'll help. My night crawl. Zekia was driving her when he got got. We steal her back? Ain't no way she ain't gonna turn heads. Nightcrawler. I like the car. A lot like. About what you expect, man. Cops, alarms, big ass fence. Ain't like we trying to bust into the Federal Reserve or something. <laughs> yeah, right. I gotta go call my old man, tell him what's going on. You come find me when you're ready to head out. All right. Well, fucking shit, Blizzard. Get the witnesses. Keep your head down, MJ. 10 4 stat sergeant. No. Yep. We not bombs. Blank in here, Pop. I'll call you when we done. You ready? Come on. Why we gotta keep driving this shitty ass car, man? We ought to get going. Best to get a drop on some people while it's still. There we go. Drive to the impound lot. That's what I'm talking about. This car barely turns on. You can say that. He wanted to remind me of self-sufficiency of a revolutionary black woman. <laughs> His black ass way of saying don't get shot. <laughs> well, he ain't wrong. So what's the plan for getting your car? It stopped on a dead man switch, I think. Who needs a dead man switch in their car? Lincoln, I'm partial to my wheels. Point is, I'm the only one that can get my baby started. So you and me need to get into that lot. I'll get up running and we'll get moving. 
Probably gonna set off some alarms. Yeah. Well, yeah. that'll be our cue to haul ass out of there. You know what? We should keep our heads low while we're inside. Let's sneak in, get my car, and try not to get shot. Oh, not a problem. This is what I do best. Mr. One Man Army. That's what I do best, baby girl. You must not understand a man of my caliber. What's wanted? John Doe is wanted in connection with assault, burglary, resisting arrest, and attempted murder of an officer. That's what should be considered armed and dangerous. I'm armed and dangerous, bitch. Well, I didn't get to finish it. Okay, then. What you think? I'm armed and dangerous. What you talk about, Willis? Oof, perfect. All right. <laughs> there was somebody else around here. I'm going to check these uh little warehouses just in case. Dead. Gone. That warehouse looks good as a kill. Yeah, it's got to be here. I hope this is a good car, man. The Nightcrawler, that sounds pretty fucking intimidating. Okay, okay. Kicking up dust by MJ time to save the witnesses by wrecking havoc around Sinclair Parish. Roxy's Nightcrawler is built to last to use it to, use it to, cha to damage around Sinclair while staying one step ahead of the deputies. The distraction meter tracks how well you've drawn the deputy's attention. Complete all damage in the colonel. Calling all units. Reports of an intruder at the impound lot. They got us boxed in. Use Suspect the brake. Suspect is a colored male approximately six Yes! The night crawler's back, baby! <laughs> okay. Start trouble in town. Go left. Oh, God. All right. Here we go, baby. Taking all the rounds today. Doing this shit with action. <laughs> She's just hanging out the window. Oh, this is cool. I like this. Me like it a lot. We got to do our thing, Mr. MJ. Ready? Not ready. Good. We're fixing to raise a little hell. Give you time to get the first witness. Let us know where you got him. Yeah, push that down here. I'll be in touch. Let's tear up Sinclair. MJ, do your thing. Time to see what kind of damage your car can do, Rox. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> Visual on the vehicle involved in the 503 at the impound lot. Suspect should be considered armed and dangerous. Yeah, I should be considered armed and dangerous. Yo, this is wild. Holy smokes. Oh my god. No, 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 no. This is so fucking cool. No fucking way, dude. All right, so we've got another ramp right here that we can take. Ah, oh, shit. Don't stop. Keep your foot down. All right, so our job is to just destroy a bunch of shit. Yeah, the billboard in town for Slim's re-election campaign. Worst ways to get the sheriff's department's attention. As long as you don't mind me scratching you the back a little. You know fucking indestructible. <laughs> Bought MJ some more time. Now let's get out of here. Where are we going? The sheriff's department keeps a checkpoint just outside of town. <laughs> oh, Sounds she's like wild. Sounds like we drive through a mess of deputies just so they'll call in more pissed off cops. Shit, girl. You know how to have a good time. <laughs> she, girl. <laughs> this is the first time we see Lincoln interact with a woman, dude. And I'm all for it. Thankfully, this car is semi off road, so we can actually go through here. Oh, that's a fucking lake. Yeah, you know what? I spoke too soon. 
That would have been really bad. That would have been extremely bad. Oh, there it is. That's a billboard. Speed kills, baby. Are chasing us. Ah, I could have. Oh, I did hit him. Good. I managed to take care of the barrels and block them off. Now let's go up through here. Holy shit! Holy shit! Suspect here! The nightcrawler's in the offside facility! Get your asses over here! Oh, hey, what the fuck? Any of shit to blow up around here? I said we get oh, oh shit! Are shooting at the dispatch station. Give me some oh my over god! <laughs> hold up, hold up! Yeah, baby! Oh fuck! Don't do that. Gotta be careful now. Oh boy, it's good and day. Good enough. Let's get the hell out of here. Yo, this is wild. Bro. Slim's using the county fair for a little re-election party. We hit that. He'll piss Slim off. And the fuck is looking to keep him in office. <laughs> I got the entire All fucking state mad. Ready for this? Yeah, baby. There we go. Perfect. Get out the fucking way! Get out the fucking way! I don't know how you're still alive. I mean, you're literally. I don't know. Get your damn head down! Oh shit! Oh, this shit! Oh my! It was a message for our new friend. Oh my god! Y'all can buffalo slim, didn't you? Don't worry. Now we gotta start oh, destroying some shit here too. No now. Fill up the meter. Negro, stay there. Blow that up. There we go. Bro, oh, this is fucking crazy. It's like all over the place. I'd be lying if I told you I wasn't somewhat lost. I mean, I know what I gotta do, but damn. Right, there's a billboard over there. We might be able to get access to the billboard. Do this side. Or the other side of the barn. Well, that's all. Uh, that's all I'm to I got multiple tangos on me, and they ain't in an arrest and move. Hold tight, MJ. We're coming for you. All right, get to MJ. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Take a couple grenades. Oh, she supplies me. Nice. I got eyes on them some bitches right now. <laughs> Who the hell is this? This is the police man. <laughs> Did that hurt, baby? Catch this cracker. Oh, redneck calling in. Cracker? <laughs> I haven't heard that word in such a long time. Cracker? Ah, oh, I thought there was somebody right behind me. But we got this. Who the fuck is this? Oh, God. Better hold on, baby. Up. Hey, Dude, they called they friends. All right, we're right here. Yes, sir. Oh my god. Alright, good, good, good. So we do have unlimited bullets here, I see. Okay, now that I know that, I can spam the pistol. Get out the fuck away! 
Respect that. That was wild MJ, as fuck. <laughs> Didn't I tell you? Mo balls and sense. We ought to regroup at the farm. You driving your baby? <laughs> Got damn right. Look like you half knew how to drive. Thanks, Roxy. I'll see you back at the farm. Tell Roxy we're ready when she is. You got it. Talk to Roxy. Hey. What up, girl? Hey, Andy gonna be okay? Well, lucky for him, yours truly has a bit of field medicine training. Can thank my old man for that. Gonna ride with MJ, do my best to keep him comfortable. Well, y'all better haul ass. Only a matter of time before Slim and his boys sniff this place out. Let's roll, Roxy. Shit. The folder, can you grab it from the house? Sure thing. I'll meet you back at Laveau's with it. Alright, should we just drive there? Where the hell's my car? It's disappeared. This right here, man. Looks like a Red Dead Redemption house. Bonnie's house. Looks like Bonnie's house from the outside. That's the house that I was trying to think of. Okay, the folder. Talk to, talk, take the folder to the voice. Oh! That rocks out stings, don't it? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, damn, this guy's crazy. <laughs> Boy. I spent long hours thinking about putting a bullet in your head. But then it can't. Why not hand you over to my friends here? Let them take the time with you. <sighs> Looks like your cracker ass friends decided to bust out the Halloween costumes, eh, Slim? Ah. Didn't I tell y'all this one was special? <laughs> your people split, boy. Sure, they might have gotten a few witnesses out of St. Clair. But this, this is what's really important. Without it, it's just gonna be the word of some goddamn niggas against the word of a God-fearing white man. After it's all said and done, hell, I'll probably get elected governor. Glad to see you haven't lost your ambition. <laughs> you know what the problem with you people is? You still think you can win. That you got something to win. But it ain't never gonna come to pass. Once a filthy nigga, always a filthy nigga. No, this guy is crazy. Go on. Have your fun. Go on still, motherfucker. God damn, where'd that come from? Could've shot him. Just shot his ass. Fuck him. Oh, 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 you don't fucked up now, partner. Bro, Lincoln does the craziest executions. I'm sorry, this guy is scary. I don't know. I, I just I, I kill or be killed. Absolute idiot, you just burned yourself. Where is this stupid sh fucking sheriff? Come here, you little shit. I'm gonna permanently destroy you. That 
want to play games with Lincoln Clay? Hey, you must not know that I took out Sal Marcano. You know, the guy you're all afraid of. Gonna come in here and think you can do some shit about. Oh, hold on. Sorry. Bye. Bye. What are you doing, bro? You don't know who you're fucking with. You're fucking with the wrong man. Yes, that's right. That's how we do around here. <laughs> I didn't even make it out of the car. Right. Oh no! Yo, this DLC just got turned up, baby. It's lit, baby. Let's go. Where the fuck's Roxy? I hope she didn't die. I'm starting to fall in love, man. Come on, man. Don't, don't do this to Lincoln. Man's gone through enough. He needs some some, some some spice in his life. Okay, she good. I don't know how she's good, but she's good. All right, hold on. Oh, this guy's getting annoying repeating that word over and over. Is that him? Oh. Get in the night crawler. That, that that's him right there. I don't I don't. Yeah. Fuck to split. I got him. Your ass should come. Lucky we saw that fire when we were driving. What? Don't let Slim get away. Back in, just like we done the Bro, you're not gonna do anything, Slim boy. You about to get smoked. Ah, watch the paint, watch the paint. <laughs> Look here, I think it's a little too late for that right now, right? Slim boys are coming up on us. Yo, you got some grenades. I need some grenades. He gotta be scared right now. Come here, Slim. This is a good car for this. It's got really, really good grip on the tires, especially on the terrain in this part of the map.
That's where the change begins. Besides, you got a figure. Being a wild, racist cop's gonna make you real popular on the cell block. <laughs> nah. I know people. I know powerful people. I ain't going no. <laughs> Come on. I think it's about time we get the hell out of Sinclair Parish. That was dope as fuck. Is that the end of the DLC? Not yet. We should get it on up back to my dad's place. He gonna be happy to hear about Slim. Some boys are coming up on us. is happening here <laughs> she's so awesome dude I think like 80% of the DLC has been on a car this is crazy <laughs> Cars are indestructible. Doesn't freaking. Oh my goodness. They should have made all the campaign DLCs like this, or not campaign, all the story deal, uh, all the story missions like the DLC. Oh man, I, I feel like the game would have been praised much higher. Although it's under, it's it's underrated. It really is. I honestly don't know why they made so much side quests, like side missions to go to the main missions in this game. I mean, it's more work for the devs. Like, I don't know if they had good intentions with it. Like, they wanted to bring something a little bit more immersive, bigger than, than the previous Mafia game. And maybe they just didn't think about how repetitive it would have been. Or maybe there's, I wonder if there's a reason behind a game being longer. Like, did it benefit them? Because honestly, they could have just made the game and taken out all the filler crap and it would have been one better for them as an easier and i think the game would have been loved more law ain't gonna stop looking for slim all the head on to my day be a hell of a lot better when we get slim boom under lock you did real good lincoln black just park us up ahead Watch the paint. Watch the paint. Watch the paint. Watch the paint. Son, sooner or later you're gonna have to learn how to duck. <laughs> Beaumont, he's still breathing. His ass is out in the garage. Roxy handled herself all right. <laughs> yeah, she was better than all right. That girl is bad, Laveau. Uh-huh. Well, you did your part. So you gonna stick around? We could use your help. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> you always got a place with us, Lincoln. It was nice seeing you again, Laveau. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to live your life again. Don't forget that. Oh. Come in. More story. Nice. Oh, there he hey. is, the man. And now, uh, just wanted to say goodbye. You okay? Yeah. So. Actually, no. I ain't okay. Part of me wonders if any of this gonna even matter. We take out that motherfucker slim, and all I see is pain. Ugliness in the world. 
Someone once told me that if all you look for in the world is evil, it's all you're ever gonna see. Truth is, Roxy Laveau, you are one of the brightest lights I have ever known. Don't let the world take that away from you. Uh, okay, I might have to mute this, but uh, oh shit, my boy, oh, <laughs> my boy, like a clay butter. All right, okay, there it is. He needs this man. This man has not dealt with this the entire story. Okay, tables have turned around. We're now good with Biffles. Okay. I'm trying to talk a little bit more so the song doesn't get striked, in which reality it might still get striked. So if you hear the audio sound a little weird, maybe I had to like manipulate it or even mute it or whatever. Oh, he's he gonna cry. Oh, man. Oh, whoa. <laughs> it's about fucking time. I was wondering why they didn't do this in the damn main story. You gotta give him something, man. I mean, this guy's been through hell. Hey, God. Oh, damn. She ripped and dipped. Oh, damn. Like, you got done dirt. <laughs> she left the note. Okay. A good sign, right? It's a good sign. Keeping it locked down, Laveau. Uh, Sinclair. You think you deal with one thing? Yeah. You did a good job with Slim. The feds have him, but he's doing his damnedest to change that. But all that evidence? Uh, it's a start. But more folks in Sinclair need to speak up. And they can't if the sheriff's department and whoever else is terrorizing them. Where can I start? I can point you to some concerned citizens in Sinclair. Let me see what I can do to help. Thank you. Help them and we'll be a step closer to keeping Slim Beaumont behind bars. See? So... This is them doing it again in the DLC. I feel like they should have just ended it there. You know, but now that they're trying to implement these like side missions that like just like in the last uh in the last DLC, it got a little repetitive. You know what I mean? Talk to the lawyer. Okay. So did we unlock we unlocked a car, but we don't need that. I'm in the bayou and I need transportation. Just gonna take a squirt and I'll get her out here. All right, here we go. I mean, the last DLC was great. Hot Wheels, just like you ordered. That's a big help. The last DLC was great, but then we also had like those uh, bounties at the end, which weren't that bad. It was only three and they were relatively close. But there was really no need for them. I feel like they just ended it there. See what we got. Talk to the lawyer. What the hell happened here? Oh, note from the desk of Christian Remis. Dear Mr. Curtis, upon further review of your documents, I must respectfully decline your case against Sinclair Parish City Council Mayor Daltrey and Sheriff Almont. As we discussed on the phone, this wow, that should have just killed him. This case uh, would present significant conflicts for me, given my previous work. With the above parties why i would apply i would i would be happy to refer you to one or more of my esteemed colleagues in new bordeaux i would again advise you to drop your complaint beyond the cost of pursuing a case against the city you may find that your construction interest may suffer under the stress of lengthy trial sincerely the fuck? you remus Christian Remus. Remus, Esquire. not Remus. 
And you're Laveau's acquaintance. Well, mind the mess. I understand you can help me get my Blanche back. Blanche, your woman? What well, slim one with her? Well, you see, I've had occasion to perform legal services for Sheriff Beaumont, along with some not-so-legal services. Now Slim's afraid you'll talk, but he doesn't want you dead. Which is why his thugs kidnapped my Blanche. See, they're keeping her over in the scrapyard, the one that got blown up? I know it. Save her. Save her, and I'll sing like a proverbial canary. <laughs> All right, go to the scrapyard. Here we go. Go to the scrapyard. Okay, how the hell do I... Let me just get out through here. How far is this scrapyard? A thousand meters? Okay. Well, let's get it going then. So, I don't know if we'll get like another cutscene towards the end of this once we finish it. But at the moment, we have to... Uh, we have to help out these uh, concerned citizens. Pretty much ideally the same thing we did on the Stone Turn DLC. So, I would assume it should be more or less the same thing. I, I knew they should have killed the, the freaking sheriff, man. They, they should have just gotten rid of him. But now, Lincoln Clay wanted to be all hero and shit. No, 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 no! Alright. Do we get up there? Where are we supposed to go exactly? Let's see, up here. Oh, we gotta go all the way over there. Okay. Huh? I did not see him. What were we fleeing? Balaki? Balaki? You guys remember that episode? Substitute teacher, Blake. He called them Balake. <laughs> oh god. It's Blake. Oh man, that was that was hilarious. But we're gonna go up here. Got this under control. Oh, you thought you were gonna do something, huh? This looks like a fun gun to use. Is that it? Cover my ass. <laughs> oh, there's more. <gasps> oh, ouch. Damn, I don't know there's going to be more of them. You must know that I'm here to rescue Balake. Oh, there's a lot more guys. Fuck, I shouldn't have done that. I did not know there was so many people. He's bleeding now. Shut your ass up, man. We got this, guys. We got this. Oh, because these are... Sh oh. Who? We ain't got time for who, what, when. Go out the back way. Christian's waiting for you at his place. Get those assholes. All right. Oh, they did already, miss. Don't worry about it. Okay, we got the escape. Now I just need to get a car over here. Do I get a car? If I can get a car here, we're good. Can you help me out with some new wheels? Hey, I'll get her out to you right away. Good, Long good, good. Gone. Sneaky motherfucker. Nothing here. Yeah, maybe. Oh, he's coming down? Are oh, you crazy? Are oh, you crazy for that one? <laughs> I'll tell you that much. You cray cray. That's a big hill. Well, hell, that's him. Oh. Here he is. Give me a hand. Oh, they hauling ass. Oh, they hauling ass. Bro, they fucked up my car. What the hell? Jesus! Can I call? Can I call another one? Can 
you help me out with some new wheels? Jesus. Hey, I'll get around to you right away. All right, here we go. What is up with that sound effect? This game is all sorts of bugs. Just like your order. Appreciate it. Are you guys hearing this? What is wrong with this game? Do you hear that glitch? Listen to the noise. That's from the car trying to start. And the glitch, the, the sound effect has glitched all the way through here. Alright, here we go. You could have picked up your office a little bit, you know, just a little bit, man. Just, <laughs> sheesh. Figured you'd be in the wind by now. Well, there's a two o'clock train ticket with our names on them. Fake names, of course. But you'll testify. If it means not having to look over my shoulder for the rest of my life, yeah. Yeah, I'll testify. You take care of her now. Do we have another mission with him? I think we're good. Now what? Welcome. Welcome, friend. We are a congregation open to all. I'm Laveau's friend. <sighs> oh, Christ, man. We don't get too many colored folks in these parts. Southern Union sees to that. Yeah, those assholes have their hooks in Sinclair. Uh, sorry. Oh, fuck it. It's Slim's doing. Bro, that's He's a, in lockup, but he figures if he lets the Southern Union loose, he'll that's keep some preacher. <laughs> and keep fuck folks it. quiet. So you want somebody to mix it up? Make it hard for the Southern Union to operate? You'll find rallies going on at the Sinclair trailer park and the old farm. I believe you are an instrument of justice, and I pray. You can convince them to leave my people be. Southern Union rally. Under threat by the Southern Union. Oh my god. Find a sturdy car and use it to crash their rally. There's no way that's a fucking preacher, man. Did the house of God just cursing like it's all good? What is wrong with him? <laughs> he literally just cursed his fucking ass off. Sure some wheels over here. Fuck it. Just gonna take a squirt and I'll get her out here. Get it. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, that was not a good idea. <laughs> We're out here recreating history. Okay. So now what? Just kill the leaders? Okay, I think it's time we get off real quick. And do this. It'd be great if would do this the real way. Come on, man. Damn, that felt good. <laughs> Ain't many of us left, he said. Ain't gonna be none of you left. Ready to, ready to kick your... Oh. Come here, bitch. Bro, how many of these guys are gonna keep reappearing? What is this? Oh, bro. Come on! Oh. Fucking A. Right, back at the preachers.
Southern Union won't be bothering your people anytime soon. I think they saw the light. You whoop their asses is what you're saying. Thank you. And thank Laveau for all he's trying to do around here. From your mouth to God's ear. Go in peace, Mr. Clay. Not likely. Dude, that preacher is bootlegged. He curses more than Lincoln Clay. And I'm literally a gangster. He's a preacher in his own god house, if you would. Church. I don't I don't get it. Anyways, talk to the widow. There we go. Alright, last stop, boys. Last stop. Yo, with that Laveau, right? Slim's pissant buddies in the department are planning to dump a whole mess of documents for the man. Let me guess. Documents that could help send Slim up the river. Bobby, my husband, worked records at the department. When Slim went up, Bobby overheard one of the deputies, Tupelo, talking about burning all kinds of shit. Records of the fucked up shit the department's been getting up to. Tupelo found out Bobby knew. Then he killed him. He was a good man. Where's Tupelo now? Landry's. You should know it's a Southern Union bar. You stay safe. I'll get justice for Bobby. Ain't looking for no justice, son. Got you, Bobby. Yeah, what do you... What do you think this is, bro? Is that a gun? Still as ornery as ever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everybody get the hell out of here. Come here, punk. Who's next? Got two scumbags there. Did. Took like six shots. But it's okay. And he's the motherfucking law around here. You tried to Oh, he's in here. Did I just kill him off? Nah, let's just go straight here. Gotta be more guys here anyways. Huh? Yeah, huh? I know you're here, asshole! <laughs> got him. I know you did. You goddamn well, I bone. Oh my god. Look at, look at this man. You ever been teabagged? Tell my wife. Oh. Fuck up. <laughs> You're gonna tell me where the documents are, Tupelo. They're burning the shit out at the old Miller farm. <laughs> You're already too late. Fucking pigs. Wow. Go to the burn site. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's happening here? Oh my god, how the hell did they even We got a box in there. I've got no idea how they even fucking managed to God damn it <laughs> Fucking pigs Imagine being a cop and playing like all these sorts of games where you're always dying I think you're like a profession Now these like open world gangster movies or gangster games or horror movies. Ain't many of us left. That must suck, man. Like fuck, man. Especially if you're a good cop in real life, you know what I mean? I think I see the suspect. Take care of you, let's see goes through. 
All right, so we're here. Deal the evidence truck. So it's not being burned yet. Okay, then we're good. Suspect described as Colin Male, 25, above average height. Back up all above average height. Suspect still at large. Additional units responded. There we go. Steal the evidence truck. Wait. Am I not supposed to? What? Oh, I'm probably supposed to. Just, ah, I'm supposed to park it in there. That makes sense. I see. Done. Call in the pickup. But oh, we're not done. <laughs> Jesus Christ. In there. Okay. Lavo. The sheriff's department was trying to burn up his paper trail. And you stopped him. If you can send somebody over, it's all stashed in a truck behind a body shop. One of the boys are on their way. Thanks, Lincoln. All righty, we're here. <laughs> sorry, guys. You slim Beaumont stand right where it's supposed to be in a cell. You check in on those folks, Irma, the preacher, Remus. Uh, Irma and Remus left town under the movement's protection. Jeremiah, <laughs> he's still there, still preaching. You did good. Oh, uh, Roxy sends her best. Says you owe her a letter. You two corresponding? Uh, <laughs> that's uh, that's my cue to split. I'll catch you on the other side, LeBeau. Hmm. The arrest and subsequent conviction of Sheriff Walter Beaumont exploded from a story of small town corruption to national news. You see, Beaumont named names. He implicated over a dozen co-conspirators in the <clears throat> Sinclair Parish Sheriff's Department. He, uh identified members of the white supremacist Southern Union. And some of those men belong to the Louisiana political machine. Now, for his part, uh, Beaumont accepted a sentence of 15 years in prison. He served 12, most of it in solitary confinement for his own safety. Uh, he uh, was shot and killed in 1989 in the driveway of his home. There were no suspects, and wow. no one was ever charged. Good. <laughs> Is that too bad? I'm sorry, man. He's an asshole. All right. Well, I think that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this DLC. It was fun. The DLCs really are fun, and I'm happy I played them. I know I've got one more. But uh, I'm definitely going to have to take a break on the Mafia 3. I've been playing it for almost three weeks now. Or close to three weeks. And um, there's a lot of games coming up, as I mentioned on the last DLC video. But anyways, that's neither here or there. I just want to say thanks. I really hope you enjoyed your stay. And as always, if you did, drop it a like. I would really appreciate it. And uh, hopefully I can catch you guys on the next video.